And let me tell you something. Being married in your 30s with no kids is Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is another get ready with me Q&A sort of video. We are back and better than ever because look at this hair girl. We are about to do a get ready with me where you're going to ask me questions or you have asked, you've asked me questions and I'm going to answer them. Um, it got real personal real fast. Y'all really was in there. I said get personal. But I really didn't know what get personal meant. I really didn't. A girl was drinking too, so when I wrote that. <laughs> but I wanna thank everyone for asking questions. It makes me feel really loved and important for y'all to be curious about my life. Like, it's just, I feel important. I don't know if that is like a um, narcissistic side of me or what is that? But every question that y'all had down there, I answered. Yeah, before we get into all of those questions and I get into the details, how to apply this wig can y'all hit subscribe and can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to y'all every single week with new hair new things new wigs new life <laughs> like i said we're going to get into some questions but i also want to say thank you to janota hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video before i get into y'all getting into my business and me telling all my business we need to go ahead and get into this unit I'm gonna tell y'all all the details about this wig, how I applied this wig, all that extra stuff that I always do. And then after that, we'll go ahead and do the q and I'll go ahead and do this face. I wanted to do a foundation routine that was gonna match the hair because the hair is giving very much, maybe she's born with it, and I wanted that to be my face. But if you're born with this girl, somebody, <laughs> anybody call a doctor. <laughs> Why do you have on lipstick and eyebrows and eyeshadow when you're coming out the womb, girl? While I'm doing my makeup and while I'm doing this look, I'm going to answer a lot of your invasive questions. I didn't know that y'all was gonna ask me questions about my marriage, did not. Wasn't even thinking about it. I don't know why I didn't think about that because my picture had me and my husband in it. But either way, I answered all the questions anyway. All invasive ones, everything rooted to two that I answered it. If you wanna see everything I did to get this look and you wanna get more details about this hair, please keep on watching and I'll be back with the Q&A. So the Janota hair wig comes in the Janota hair box. And inside of that box, of course, you receive your gifts and you receive your wig. But the gifts that you receive are, of course, lashes, a baby hair brush, a wig cap, and like some Janota hair gifts, like hair clips and a hairbrush. Now here is the beautiful kinky curly wig. So this wig has a pre-plucked hairline and it has a hairline that is not bleached, but since it's single knotted, you may not have to bleach it. I bleach mine because y'all know me. I got to bleach my knots. So I washed the wig after bleaching the knots. And next we're going to moisturize these curls. Now the great thing about this hair being wet and being able to style it is that I was able to use the Shea Moisture Mousse. But I didn't have to use too much because I ain't put too much on it. So I'm doing like the half and half sort of method. Usually I'll be putting too much mousse on there. It'd be taking so much time because I do it when the hair is dry, but we're gonna do it wet. I'm gonna use my Evolve 572 brush and I'm going to brush through the hair. Now I want y'all to see this, okay? Look how this brush combs through and clumps together these curls. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, look how juicy it is. Oh yes. Look at that. Look how those curls clump together. Now next I'm gonna use the OGX Coconut Curls Dry Cream. I'm gonna add that on top just to make the curls pop a little bit more. Never used it before, but I felt like, you know what? Why not add a little bit more moisture? So we're just gonna speed through this part. We're gonna go through all of the curls, make sure we clump all of them up, and then I'll be back once we get into styling the hairline.
now let's go ahead and work on this beautiful hairline. So like I said, this hairline is pre-plucked and I didn't have to pluck this hairline, which is great. Now what I'm gonna do is separate the hair and I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Flyaway Wrap Mousse just to lay down this hairline and get it flat. Y'all know for me, I like a flat hairline because it looks more like it's growing out of my scalp. So I like to use a mousse and just lay down those hairs and push them backwards. I used to let the hairs be all crazy, but it's just a mess when it's like that. So I like to use a mousse just to get the hair looking like real slick and stuff in the front. So I like to take a baby hair brush and then brush back those hairs and get everything kind of slick back, just like I do with my ponytails. You know, just slick it back the hair, get them edges together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dyson Flyaway attachment and I'm going to go ahead and dry that hairline backwards. I realized I wasn't really using this Dyson correctly. Um, I was using it wrong. I should be like rolling, like I think I started to do it correctly, like rolling from the ends over. If you have a Dyson, please let me know if I'm doing this right. But once I figured it out, it actually worked out and looked beautiful. Look at it. Look how flat that is. Look at the difference between the two sides. Now you can wear the other side like that, or you can wear your hair like it originally comes because it still looks good, but that's not my Stilo. So shout out to Stilo. Now I need to just go ahead and blow dry the other side, adding the mousse and get it just as flat as the other side, make them look alike, make them look like twins. Now both sides are complete and look at that. It looks professional now. Now I'm gonna take the Andis comb and go under overboard. Y'all know I like to put that extra little step, extra little pizzazz in there. So I'm gonna use the Andis hot comb just to go ahead and comb back and reinforce that flatation on the situation. Now this is the first time I've ever done it in this order. Like I still need to add mousse to the hair and that's what I'm about to do now. It actually ended up working out, but first I'm just gonna add the headband just to make sure I don't mess up this hairline while I'm completing the rest of the hair. And the only reason why I did it in this order is because the hair is wet. So I'm gonna go use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Mousse and I'm just gonna add it to the hair and we're gonna do the same thing we did to the back. Now, the reason why I wrapped up the hairlines because I didn't wanna get the hairline wet and then mess up everything I just did. I'm not sure if I'll do that, do it in that order in the future, but it looks good still. I probably should have done um, the curls first and then flattened it, but it ended up okay. So y'all tell me what you think. Um, usually I do my wigs on my head, but this time I decided to do it you know, on the wig head and it, you know, it worked out doing it like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Evolve 572 brush and just keep brushing through the hair. Now I noticed that some of these ends were a little bit dry. So I would just trim them off as I went. It's a bob, so it's supposed to be all even length, but I just wanted to make sure the ends felt good. So once I separated the curls, it didn't get really frizzy because that's what happens when I don't have trim ends. So we went through all of the hair, clumped together the curls, and next, what we're gonna do is take this wig off this wig head and we're gonna transfer her over to my next favorite wig head. Now this wig head is going to be used to dry the wig. Now I'm always in a rush. I'm always last minute doing my wigs and this wig head is amazing. I'll leave a link for it down below. It's like a wig head dryer. It's like 30 bucks from Amazon. So we just put the blow dryer in the mouth area of the wig head and to make it dry extra fast, I use my hooded dryer and I put it on low. While that dries, I'm going to go ahead and create this base for this wig. So I'm using my wig grip, of course, and a wig cap. And I need to just, you know, color in the wig cap a little bit. I like to use usually a liquid concealer, but all I have was the powder. Now look at this wig. It is completely dry. And look at how juicy those curls are. Yes, ma'am. Those are juicy, juicy, juicy curls. Now next, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this wig. As you can see, I'm measuring her up, making sure everything's correct. I'm so happy that that middle part was in the right place because I just guesstimated, girl. Remember guesstimate? They used to tell us to guesstimate when we was kids. Anyways, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace. Of course, I'm gonna use my Annie shears just to get all that lace cut off. Um, 
like I always say, I like to do the zigzag sort of method. Now that that is cut off, we can go ahead and apply the wig. Now I did tint the lace off camera, but I never show it because I don't do it in front of the camera because that stuff is messy. But I, I'll sh put the lace tint down in the description box below. I still use too much, but I use the wig dealer gel just to lay down the wig. Y'all have seen her before on my channel, but this wig dealer gel is amazing. And all I did was put it on my forehead, then blow dry it, and then you just stick it to them. Stick the wig to your forehead. And that's it. So we're going to do that all the way across the hairline. It took a little bit of time for me to get it stuck because I think I had too much moisturizer on my face. Skin was all juicy, so it was hard to stick. But once it finally stuck, we were able to separate out our baby hairs and get those out of the way while we focused on reinforcing the wig. Now, these ear tabs were giving me the business today i don't know what it is sometimes ear tabs are real temperamental and it's real annoying but i was able to get them laid down and ready to go so i just like to twist them away from the face while i go ahead and reinforce that hairline with the gel from wig dealer i'm noticing that when i do the wig dealer gel over top it starts to mess with the lace tint so I probably need to quit doing that, but I like doing it because it really sticks the wig down, but I need to quit doing it. I do. Now we get to go ahead and do our baby hairs. Now my baby hairs, I like to cut them short. Y'all know how I like my baby hairs, short and sweet. Okay. I like them to look real sweet, real cute, blend into the hairline. So I like to use my got to be glued gel. That container was so dirty, friend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to do better but i'm gonna go ahead and lay down the baby hairs with my baby hair brush and i just smooth it down we smooth it back and i like to melt it into the hairline like i said because it makes it look like oh okay baby hairs or is that baby hairs it's just your hairline what is that i like that look now my ear tabs mm, i did okay it wasn't my favorite look but that's okay so we're just gonna go ahead and dry all of that gel before we start to melt down this hairline once again the best thing you can do for this wig dealer gel is make sure it's completely dry before you melt it down with a headband so of course i'm using another headband once again and i'm just gonna go ahead and fluff out these beautiful beautiful curls so once those are completely fluffed out i like to trim the ends a little bit I actually trimmed a couple more ends and now we can reveal this hairline look at it it is stunning. It is gorgeous. Now the lace tint, she showed up and showed out, but that's okay. I use my Bobbi Brown Walnut Finish Foundation Stick just to kind of blend in some of that mess, but I'll be putting on makeup as well, so that'll help. I need to slow down on the lace tint because I'm getting way too excited, but what's next? Now look at how beautiful this wig is. Look at those curls. If you are interested in purchasing this wig, I'll leave coupon codes down below because they have a few coupon codes down below also i want to say thank you to janota hair now let's get into this q and a and this face let's get this face together okay y'all let's go ahead and we've done we're done with the hair now we can go ahead and get into this makeup and this get ready with me chat i ain't gonna lie to y'all i am nervous girl i created a post on my community tab and i said ask me questions and girl i said get personal Big mistake, huge. <laughs> Y'all got per -sa no. And I feel like I'm a really open person, but I've realized I'm not that vulnerable. So this is gonna be a practice in vulnerability. Girl, we gonna get into it today. I decided not to drink wine because first of, first of all, it's 3.44 in the afternoon. Secondly, I feel like I need to be aware and coherent before I start running my mouth about stuff <laughs> that I don't need to be running my mouth about. Let's go ahead and get started first. We're gonna put on a headband. Y'all know I love to put on a headband that matches my outfit and this one matches real cute, giving auntie vibe. Let's go ahead and plop this on our hand, okay? Oh, oh God. Not my headband big. Oh. Oh. Now I put a little bit of makeup on there. It's a little bit orange, but that's fine because it's gonna match my bronzer. So most of the products I'm gonna use 
are gonna be down in the description box below. Because I'm gonna be answering questions, I'm gonna try not to get distracted by the products because I can use the products to distract myself from answering a question. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> We're gonna prime the face. I've already moisturized the face. I've put on sunscreen. I like to use a spray, especially for summertime because I like to look moisturized. So I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh eight hour spray. I love using this spray because it creates that more dewy fish. Now, if I'm going for a matte finish, I like the Skin Set Primer with Rose Water from the Lip Bar, but we're going a little bit more dewy. Since we're talking about relationships and whatnot, let's do the natural look because that's what the boys like. <laughs> we don't care what the boys like though. Around here, we like what we like. Okay, let me go ahead and open up my questions. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll all the way. <gasps> Y'all, the amount of questions I've always wanted to do this. What what ended? Oh, those aren't all questions. Some of those are congratulations. So let me quit to my own horn. So I'm gonna use this first, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Chai. This is closer to my skin tone with a little bit of orange, which I like because it allows me to conceal a little bit. And this is supposed to be a concealer. So let's go ahead and so I'm just gonna get into a few little details before I get into the questions. So um, y'all can know, oh, this is my skin tone. Y'all can get to know a little bit more about me and my husband. So me and my husband have been married for now six years. We've been together for 10. We met working in a restaurant here in Atlanta in the CNN Center. He asked me on a date at a strip club. <laughs> it's the Atlanta love story crowd. But a boy had just broken up with me and I was heartbroken. So I was a couple months single. And I wasn't really looking. I wasn't looking at anybody. I really just was doing my own thing. But um, he came into work one day, newly hired, and I saw him and I said, oh. And there was a moment where we locked eyes. Then I found out he liked me. So I decided to kind of like make myself available. So when he went out somewhere, I decided I wanted to go out. And then when he, when we got there to this, it was, uh, I don't know if I should name the strip club, but it was a strip club. He was at this strip club with our other coworkers and he asked me out on a date. And after that, the rest is history. He picked me up for our first date. And after that, we were inseparable. We was inseparable. I love me some him. And my mama had asked me, she was like, I think I've been talking to him for maybe a month. And she was like, do you love him? And I was like, no mama, I don't even know him. Like the next, week she asked me if i loved him and i was like yes <laughs> but what's crazy is that how we met and how everything happened though because i didn't sit there and ask you i remember sat there and yeah, started up. he sat there and started facilitating things for he me he was hounding me he was he's facilitating like, he kept saying, things my, he said my guy says he's a good guy he's a good guy so but he sat there and got us connected yeah. and i remember the time we were going to hang out it was we ended up, I tried talking to you and guests kept coming through. So a guest came in, so we kind of stopped talking. But after that, you know, we were talking that one night and I was like, are you going to the strip club? But all of us went to the strip club that night from the restaurant. And then I, I was asking everybody, I was like, is Amira going? And, you know, if you're going, I'll go. Because well, I didn't I plan on you. going. No, I asked Oh, you. did you? I asked you, I said, are you going? Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. And you said, yeah. I'm well, gonna... but just because you said you're, I didn't know if you were gonna definitely go because you well, had said that you didn't have any money or something. I didn't have any money. Chanel told me that she didn't have any money. So I was like, okay, well, all right, cool, whatever. You know, I didn't, I didn't know if you were like gonna go. I didn't like going to where if I had no money. We ended up going, all going to strip club. Mm -hmm. And I remember you disappeared for a second and I guess you were talking to your sister. So no, I had with your sister. No, you was getting a lot there. Oh, the guy right. oh yeah, the little shorty was doing her thing. <laughs> and I told you, I was like, yo, what are you doing? Like, oh, I got you. I think if he knew that I was trying to link up, I don't think he would have done that. We were outside of the club, and that's when I got your number. And I was then we so set up, so we set up a, a dinner. And we look for it several ones. Ever since. But then, like, because <clears throat> that night when good and then we had the second date which was the bowling 
-hmm. And then the third day, which was the movie. And then we went to a, a Sutra Lounge after we bowled. Yes. And then we had a good time there. And then uh, after that, that's when we went to the movie. And then once we went to the movie, and then the fourth day we went to room service. And then the fifth day was on my birthday. Oh, yep. Yeah, it went down. <laughs> He's the yin to my yang. We're complete, not complete opposites. Oh, girl, this is orange. Girl, I might as well put on foundation. <laughs> he proposed to me, what, two years after we got together and then we got married like a year later, a, a year and a half later. So, you know. Fast tracking it, baby. I didn't have a dream to be married and all of that stuff. The fairy tale type of stuff wasn't my vibe. Just not. I always thought I was gonna be single for the rest of my life. And you know, rotating men, having, you know, whole different relationships. But I thought in my head, if I got married, which I thought would never happen, he had to be exactly like my husband is now. And when he showed up, I was like, this is real. He, there were certain attributes that I wanted in a partner that most men don't have, but my experience was, girl, that's a unicorn. <laughs> but he's my unicorn, <laughs> period. Okay, let's go ahead and get into these questions since y'all already know my history. Um, and my face is fully caked up. Hello? So, CS, how did you meet? Also, also his background. I told y'all how we met. We met at work and we started dating at work. His background, when I first saw my husband, I didn't, I just, when people are like, look a little bit more racially ambiguous, I don't ever think about race. I don't know why it doesn't pop into my head. I never asked him if he was mixed, like not once. I, he told me his background, but I never asked, but I understand why, why people ask now, uh, but he is, black and Japanese. I mean, he identifies as black, but his mother is black and Japanese and his dad is black. So he black girl, just, you know, look. Dat girl Danny asked the same question. Congrats, where did y'all meet? Was this Atlanta? If so, I would be so shocked. Yes, it's in Atlanta. Um, I think I've had the privilege of dating within my circles. So I only dated people that I knew because I have, uh, I wouldn't say, I don't like saying trust issues, but I've had negative experiences with men I didn't know. So I only dated people within my circle. Like if I knew you through somebody, I had to know, girl, who your people? That's what I needed to know. Faith L. Croco, I hope I'm saying your name right. How do you honor each other's love language? I think love language is like an actual thing. Like people actually take tests to know what each other's love language is. But we, I mean, we haven't done that, figured out love languages and stuff like that. So I don't, uh, I don't know. Like in, I've never taken a love language test, nor has he, and we haven't made it a point to do that. So, um, I mean, we communicate, we talk to each other, we figure out what each other like what each other likes and we do it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. But I do think it's useful, useful for people to take that love language test. I just was never interested in doing that. And my husband didn't even know anything about, was aware of like all of that. We don't be, you know, on the relationship circle thing, you know, reading people books and stuff like that, we know. <laughs> so. Carlene Clark, hey Carlene. Carlene is my girl, she's always commenting. Are you going to, oh, let me move on to the next, let me put on my concealer. Okay, so my highlighting concealer that I'm going to use is the Studio Fix Concealer. Y'all seen me use this before, it's an NC45. Let me go ahead and pop that on the face real quick. And we're gonna let it sit for a little bit because you know I like to let the concealer sit. Ooh, that forehead is oily, baby. So I like to put it under the eyes, on the cupid's bow. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing it there, but I do. I used to put it on the forehead, but that make my forehead look a fool. So I just keep it right there. And we're going to do our bronzing color, and that is my Bobbi Brown Walnut Skin Foundation Stick. Oh my God, love this for bronzing. It's perfectly orange. I like to look a little bit orange. I don't know, I like to give Oompa Loompa. I have a little mini blender so i'm gonna put some on this blender and then blend it into the face while this um 
concealer sits so let's get back into the question are you going to grow your family with puppies or babies are you going to buy a home in any of the areas you're in how long do you plan on continuing YouTube Ooh, great question so let's start with the first one are you going to grow your family yes but it is not a priority so when we uh, met each other um neither one of us were like oh we need to have kids and when you want to have kids when you want to get married we kind of went with the flow and we're still doing the same thing now i would love to see him as a father um but at the same time i'm loving where we are right now just being married and let me tell you something being married in your 30s with no kids is it's amazing you get to do what you want to do i get to enjoy life with the love of my life but i don't have to be accountable to anybody else but me and him you know what i'm saying like it's just so I'm not, I did have a moment where I was, oh girl, let me act like I got some sense. I did have a moment where I was like, oh, you know, I need to have kids by this time. You know, I had a, like a rushed feeling, but that quickly went away. Came and went, girl. Now I feel like, you know, when it's time, it's time. And I'm 35 right now. He is 37. We are not getting any younger, but I don't think, you know, I just don't feel like the feeling of feeling like rushed to start a family helps me to enjoy the moments that I am in with him right now, which is just like traveling, enjoying, you know, you know, just each enjoying each other's time and enjoying our own time, getting to know our girl because things are different. Like I'm, I'm learning myself more now and I definitely shouldn't have been a parent in my 20s so <laughs> let's see how the 30s grow we're planning on it but it's not it's like a loose plan you know like oh family cute but I know I would not be devastated if I couldn't do things in the conventional like get married have uh, have kids do this do that you know sort of way oh yeah kids so yes we definitely want to have kids Kind of just really get our infantry set up, you know, like you want to get a house. Uh, I mean, it's the same old thing, like you want to get a house, you want to have like assets, you want to have a million dollars in the bank so you don't end up struggling and the kids don't feel that energy. And, yeah. Because that can make it, it's like a lot of negative energy when you can't afford certain things and just the basics. Yeah. That's how I grew up, I didn't mean, have anything, so. Yeah. I don't want that for my kids, so. Like, and then we wanted to travel also. Then maybe, what's it, 2023, after we get established, um, then we can really seriously be like, okay, we're gonna get half kids, well, kid, try one first, and then see if they wanna get a brother or sister, or sister or brother one or two. Now, as far as having um, a pet, I think we would like to have a pet, but I've never, you, I've never had a pet before, ever in my life. Never had a dog. So, like, responsibility for a pet still gives me, like, a little bit of, hmm, I get a little nervous about it. But I would like, like, I like puppies. I like dogs. I like cats. I think he, you know, would say he like a dog or a special sort of cat. <laughs> yeah, we do want pets, but... It's hard to do that now when we're really, really busy now. So the thought of having like a pet is just like also exhausting. I feel like I'm real selfish. That's what I think. It seems like a lot of work and I get anxiety, whatever. Yes, but eventually. Are you going to buy a home? Yes, we plan on buying a home, but girl, the market right now is not for buying a home. Also, we're, I, uh, you know, just speaking for myself, um, not having the responsibility of a home at this time is nice. From what I understand, my sister owns a home. Like, it's just like not, you know. I think people romanticize like things like that. And for me, I'm enjoying the moment that we're in now. We're living in an apartment. You know, we would like to move because, you know, we like to find a bigger place and all that type of stuff. But buying a home is definitely one of our goals. And we hope to find one 
a really nice one soon. You know? Well, not soon, but when the market gets better. Because don't nobody want to buy a home right now. Ooh, girl, I didn't blend that. We know what type, what quality of home that we want. And that's going to take a lot of money, child. So, no rush. Like, we're trying to figure out, like, do we want to stay in Georgia? Do we want to, you know what I'm saying? There's like so many questions about, you know, what to do next. So, not sure if we're trying to stay in Georgia or Atlanta. Because Atlanta is wild, girl. And it's really expensive. It used to be really inexpensive, but girl, no, it's not. So, I need to put the face recognition on my phone. <laughs> Tip tapping away with these press -ons. How long do you plan on continuing with YouTube? Now, that is a good question because I don't know. Um, obviously I always, I always think that, that I have to prepare for the worst. I think that's my anxiety. <laughs> so I'll be thinking like, what am I going to do next? I need to make sure I'm prepared because blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't know what could happen. What if you do? My brain just starts to go and go and go and go. So I love YouTube. I stay on here for as long as I can. There is no like end date because I didn't even think about how long I would be on here when I first started. And it has been, I think, seven years since 2015. Oh my God, seven years. I'm only like, I'm not even a year in doing this full time. So it's hard to imagine how long I'll be on here. I guess I'll see how things progress, but I don't have like an end date. I feel like I'm a real vague person. <laughs> I just don't be having like, I'm not really like a planner in that way. It gives me anxiety to plan like that. So I just like, I have like a other goals, but I don't really be thinking like, let me plan for this, 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 and that because anything could change. So I'm staying on YouTube for as long as y'all will have me, child. <laughs> I mean, oh, this is Chan Chan asked a really good, Chan Chan asked a few good questions, but let me go ahead and set my under eye makeup before it starts to crease. What did I do with that powder? Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna set my under eye makeup with the lip bar, set the tone finishing powder in the color Golden Girl. Y'all, my hands are forever ashy. And I'm also gonna use on the rest of my face on like these areas, the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder. I think this is the gift from Sephora. Y'all know I'm cheap. I ain't buying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not buying it. I already answered one of their questions, Chan Chan's questions. I'm gonna use a sponge. How did y'all meet? I already said that. What was y'all's dating life? outlook like prior to meeting for me um uh, like i said i wasn't uh ever thinking i was going to get married i was like okay with never getting married um my dating life before girl was trash like everybody else's when i was dating before him when i met him i was 25 so early 20s dating is always trash you know what i'm saying so um, I had a good time, but I never dated, you know, I was in my twenties. So I don't know if people, y'all let me know, do people date with the intention of like getting married in their twenties? I guess some people do, but I definitely didn't. I wouldn't say the outlook was bleak because I didn't have any high hopes. I was, that sounds bad, but I didn't have any thoughts like, oh, you know, if I don't get married by this time, I'm doomed. Like I didn't have any of those thoughts. So that was a, that's another thing. So when we met, I was just trying to just be single. Me you know, too. I wasn't even trying to be in a relationship. Me too. I never yes. even thought about being in a relationship. I think that like I wanted to, you know, correct a lot of things that I had going on with me, try to fix myself by myself, you know, and I did that for a while and we didn't meet until 2012 and that's like mid, like the end of October. Of 2012. I think that the biggest thing was just trying to get my life back on track. You know? I'm gonna use another sponge for the blush. This blush is the Wonder Stick blush. I should have put it on before I did my powder, but it'll be fine. This is the Wonder Stick stick blush in the color Coral and Deep Peach. I think I'm using Deep Peach right now. Ooh. Oh. Oh, girl, that's. Ooh. Girl, that's real, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this out because that's a lot. Chan Chan asks, were there any dating rules? You each held no intercourse, no sleepovers, no back-to-back -back dates. How did he know that you were the one and what did y'all 
meet each other's friends and family. So no, we didn't have any rules. One of the most important things to me was that I didn't want to date anybody that expected me to have rules like that. Now they have rules that's different, but if they expected me as a woman to have some sort of purity rules about myself or like, you know, I didn't want that because that's just not who I am. I'm gonna do what I want when I want to and we did what we wanted when we want to. <laughs> Which was not super early, but you know, a couple dates. <laughs> That was it. But when I know, I know. So no, we didn't have that. I didn't have any no sleepover rules. Um, the only thing that was like a struggle for me was like living together because I did come from a home where uh, I had never lived with anyone before and my parents are a little bit more conservative um, in that sort of way. Like, you know, don't be living with nobody and stuff like that. So it was hard for me to wrap my head around doing that, but eventually, you know, we ended up living together before we got married and then we got engaged and it went swell, girl, swell. Best choice I ever made. Were there any dating rules each other held? No, never. No, never even. I don't even know what dating rules. I don't know what that means. Like a teenager or something? Well, I got not saying that that's a problem, but you want to have rules in dating, that's cool. Dude. Uh, when did y'all meet each each other's friends and family so i met um i met his mom really early like i met his mom i would say within the first few i can't remember i have a terrible memory but i met uh, my beautiful mother-in-law early like within the first i would say within the first month or two i feel like yeah i would say within the most mo first month or two but i met my brother-in-law first and he was it was important to him that i meet him first shout out to him loving pieces um and then i met the rest of the family a little bit later when we were like together together and he met my family let's see i would say within the first two months like we moved we actually didn't move i guess people would think we moved pretty fast um wasn't fast for us it felt really natural but within the first month girl we was tough like the first few dates i had already <laughs> you know was like oh okay i'm into it <laughs> i'm into it girl so within the first couple months oh uh, happy anniversary miss j asked do you and your husband have a dream vacation destination yes i think it's greece maybe spain but i think greece santorini is that in greece i just want to ah, we both want to go there so bad uh, we wanted to go for a while so hopefully we get to go i have a fear of flying so long flights really give me anxiety like the flight to vegas was like oh girl it was so much but yes we do i think we both would say grace not me answering for him <laughs> oh chan chan again asked another question what are some mistakes that you made in past relationships that you did or didn't make with each other um so the mistakes that i made there's a these are multi questions so um i made a lot of mistakes in the beginning but what would it what would it be a good question i'm trying to think i don't know of any mistakes <laughs> not me thinking i didn't make any mistakes because i know i did but i just don't know what they are i'm gonna have to think about that being less judgmental so i'm a person that can be really really judgmental judge a book by its cover <laughs> sort of person especially when it comes to men and i didn't do that with him and i'm grateful that i didn't um not because uh, on the cover everything was great but when we went this is one thing I, when we went to the strip club and he asked me out on that date i turned my head i didn't look it my initial reaction would be to label him as a type of guy that was more like a playboy type you know what i'm saying and those sort, sort of guys were never like my type i could say that i tried to turn off my judgmental lens like where i start to think like oh he that type of guy girl never mm -mm, mm -mm. i didn't do that so i think that's 
I had to turn off my judgy wudgy, you know, sort of lens. There was a lot of things that I did change with once we met, oh, there was a, so much growth. Who I am, who I was at 25 and who I am at 35, completely different people. Girl, I was nuts, nuts. <laughs> so a lot of those things have changed. I've grown so much because of us being together. I did change a lot within the relationship. I still had a lot of work to do because I was 25, so I was really young. So was he, so we had a lot of work to do, but you know, whatever. We, all, we both were in a situation to learn on our own, uh, learn on our own, and then once we got into the relationship, then we were able to learn from each other. And it takes time, like, to, you know, be able to understand one another. And what you do, you can, you can, just because someone is the love of your life, doesn't mean that you're not going to have differences. If you think everything is going to be like this, soon, it's because you love that other person and you don't want to be with anybody else, that's a fantasy that's not real, you know? Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't have any other way. If you don't have differences, then you, that is not, that's not the love of your life. If you guys are the same one, then I don't want to marry my damn self, shit, that's weird. Do y'all have a traditional marriage where he works outside the home and you work inside, or is it more modern where you each other split everything financially and within the home? How are y'all bank accounts set up? Y'all share one or have two separates? Y'all share everything? Do you have children or do you want them? If you don't want them, how did you both come to that conclusion? Are there any age, culture, religious, education differences between you? And how was how has that impacted the relationship negatively or positively? Has he ever asked you not to wear a weaver wig or a certain type of weaver wig? So many questions, change hand. Okay. So no, we do not have a traditional marriage. We, neither one of us are traditional people. Everything is, I wouldn't even say split. We just work together. Like we work together with everything, home-wise, inside the home, outside the home, everything is, we work uh, together. So there's no like gendered, like, oh, as a woman, I do this inside the house. There's certainly things that I like to do, but there are certain things that he does more than I do. We both try to prioritize each other's rest when we do things inside of the home it's just in partnership to make sure like we're not both doing too much he's really great at doing that <laughs> we do things together we do not have a traditional marriage i never wanted a traditional marriage um and i don't think he has either so we're the perfect match in that so no not traditional bank accounts are together all of that you got me a my papa bear. Thank you. Why does it look like that down there? I don't know. I guess that's the tea. So. Oh yeah, I guess I did that. I never looked at the bottom. Me, me. Oh. I think that for me, I never thought of it that way. I never thought of like the woman does this or the guy does this. Like whatever, whatever situation needs whatever job needs to be done it gets done you know whatever if someone's you know, you know falling behind in this because you gotta remember like i was in school working and then you're trying to figure out what you wanted to do and then you know you went into school Hello, my friend. Mm. i love you thank you how long you got You want to wait till I'm done? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah, I got some food too. Oh, you did? The mushroom arch, the kale and mushroom one. I love you so much. Thank you. Me too. Do, do you have children or do you want them? I think I answered that. Um, they asked how did we come to that conclusion. I told y'all like we're somewhere in the middle. Like we, I would love to see him as a father. It's just been fun doing, being where we are and living in the moment, all that type of stuff. Kids are hard and we're, now, an aunt and uncle and watching people raise kids is just like, whew, it's a lot. I don't know how y'all do it. Okay. Are there any age, culture, religious, education differences between you? And how has that impacted the relationship negatively or positively? So the age difference is similar. Culture, there's not really much of a cultural difference because we're both um, black American people. I don't think there's a cultural difference there because he still is black, so no. Um, 
religious education differences no not really any education differences my husband just got his degree so we both have the same um both have bachelor's degrees neither one of us is like has a has a religion i was raised with both of my parent, my mom was raised Christian, but she is um, open to all religions and my father is Muslim. And on his side, um, his mother is Buddhist and his dad doesn't conform to any religion. So we didn't come into the relationship with a religious background. We just, you know, both accept that there's a higher power and that's basically it. Has that, how has that impacted the relationship positively or negatively? It has impacted our relationship positively. We have a lot in common, like our baseline, like values and morality is about the same. And to me, that was really, really important. It was important for someone to have my same, especially religious sort of background because it's more difficult to work that out, especially when people have strong religious um, backgrounds. I would hate to even go back and forth with somebody on that. So we both came from really, really diverse backgrounds with religions. His side of the family has a few religions and my side of the family, my dad's Muslim, you know, so we all were used to interacting with different religions. So no, it's a positive, it's been positive for both of us. Ha has he ever asked you not to wear a wig, a weave a wig or a certain type of weave a wig? No, never, he met me with a wig a weaver wig he didn't know it was a weaver wig because i'm that good <laughs> it was a u-part wig that's what i was wearing he didn't know at the time but he never was like oh you should wear your real hair that's also a turn off for me don't like it don't like hearing it no he never said that to me not once um he just was like oh okay i thought it was your hair that was the end of that I have experienced people saying like oh you should wear your real hair and it gets really annoying like it's annoying especially when you first meet somebody like doesn't even make any sense. He never, he just be like, oh, that's a nice looking wig. Or, you know, my lace is showing, my man gonna tell me, period. <laughs> Hopefully your man tell you too. Aw, Leslie Kennedy had the same anniversary as us. Okay, let me go through. Happy anniversary, I would love to know what your husband does for a living. How do you guys handle conflict and disagreements? Would you be happy not having kids? Who said I love you first? How are you different? How are you the same? I'll stop there because I'm addicted to your channel and I, have tons of questions and would love to see love to see an answer questions of the video with the two of you oh yeah i know people thought it was gonna be two of us but <laughs> he don't really be on camera like that he's in the vlogs but it be me is that not good enough <laughs> that was from darlene means hey girl that's my girl we always in the comments chatting chatting it up what did your husband do for a living he is in consulting how do you guys handle conflict or disagreements? We, things have changed. Now we do a little bit, girl, I haven't even put on my powder. How do you guys handle conflict or disagreements? Oh, I'm gonna use the lip bar um, bronzing, this bronzing color. How do we handle disagreements? Um, usually the first thing I try to do is figure out where I went wrong because it takes two people to argue. We both start with an apology and repeating back like okay so i should have done this better or you know whatever it's not always peachy you know like we don't always you know do it immediately it takes me a little bit of time not like it takes me till the next day sometimes it does i try and talk we both try and talk about what our part was in the breakdown in the communication breakdown so yeah we just you know talk there's never been a thing that we haven't communicated about once we've had a conflict about it we always talk about it always 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 i'm going to use the lip bar blush from this boss moves palette would you be happy not having kids yes if we didn't have kids or if it wasn't in the cards for us to have kids i'd be happy with it i have never dreamed of it sounds bad when you say it out loud i don't know why but i've never dreamed of being a mom, it's never was in my plans. I never was like, oh, I wanna be a mom one day. No, 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 never popped up for me. Those feelings don't pop up for me. So if we never had children, I wouldn't be heartbroken. I still am happy doing life with him, being with him, enjoying life with him. And that's the most important thing to me. So, especially since it wasn't a part of my life plan before I met him, girl. So, and it wasn't a part of his, so we, 
on the same page with that. Not us being a perfect match, yes. I wouldn't be devastated. No, I'm not gonna be devastated by it, but it is something that I just wanna see a little Amira running around. It's scary to think about having kids because it's like, that you're responsible for that, you know? It's like they said, yeah. He got me some Starbucks. He knows that matcha is my favorite. Mm. How are you different? Oh, we're different in so many ways. He is, the ways that we're different are the ways that I admire him. He's so calm. I am like not calm. I am all over the place. He's really, really calm. He has such a peaceful energy. Like he is like this. He's like water, like still waters. And I'm like <laughs> flame, you know, like he puts me out. I would love to be that way, but I'm just not. Um, like he's so calm, like his nephews, like when he, like I can fall asleep on him, like immediately. His nephews, as soon as they lay on him, they're asleep. Like he's so soothing, such a calm, soothing person. He's really level headed and highly empathetic. Now we're both empathetic people, but he's empathetic in a way that he can see things from other people's point of view very well. And obviously he's not a ham like me. <laughs> That's how we're different. I'm in front of the camera, he's not. But I'm more emotional about people and all that type of stuff. Like I'm more like, everybody in the world needs to, I'm, I'm that person. I don't know how to describe it. But y'all can find the word for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the eyeshadow, the NYX Ultimate Edit eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on the eyelid. Who said I love you first? He did, but I said it right back to him. We were at Brio on, it's now closed down, but we were at Brio on um, Peachtree Street and he just looked at me and said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. And that was that. I already knew, like that was like a no brainer though. Like it wasn't even like a, it, of course you get butterflies and stuff like that, but we felt the same way at the same time. I was just, oh, you know the feeling like the butterflies. I'm like, oh my God, he said it. Oh my God, this is real. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this eyeshadow. I like to use like a beauty blender and I like to put the eyeshadow like under, like on my lower lid. So I'll put that on. Uh, who said I love you first? Yes. And it was me. It, it was, was you. at Test and Grill. Um, my amazing. guy, Benny, shout out to my guy, Benny. I remember we sat down and we were eating. Say something like, I love you. I said, I love you too. And he said, I love you too. And that was the first time. That must have been late February. Yeah, because I just moved into that apartment. Yeah. And he said, it was right across the street. How'd you guys meet? <laughs> we met at a restaurant. He asked me on the first day at the strip club. We went on our first date at Legal Seafoods. I didn't say that. And then after that, we were inseparable. What's one thing that the other person does that you don't like or wish you could change. I actually asked him about this and for me, and I, I was actually racking my brain like thinking like what is it, what is the thing that he does that I wish would change? Nothing right now. And it's been 10 years in. Um, I do wish he would allow himself to rest more. I can say that. I think we both can say that about each other. I do wish that he would allow himself to have a little bit more rest, but he's he still rests. Like he's not like maybe he's better at managing his time with rest, but I do wish he would just like, you know. Oh, that was Chanel Jackson. I'm sorry, i I don't know if I've been saying names. Chanel Jackson Jackson asked that last question. I don't think I would change well not think I don't I wouldn't change anything, you know. Come on. When you live with someone, they're gonna do like silly stuff that you don't do. Yes. To be to try to find something specific is tough. No, this you're gonna, if I you're gonna run it. into, you know, look, if you're annoyed at the time, you're gonna find everything that's annoying. But if you're in a good mood and you're rocking, you're not even gonna be paying attention to stuff like that because you're used to living with somebody. I mentioned leaving stuff out, and, you know, uh, cabinets open, and, you, know, <laughs> you know, like, but that's like. I don't think that that's something that is like something that I'm like, I'm like oh, please stop. I don't care about that. Yeah, you know, It's not a big deal. It's like, it, it, at times you can make it a big deal in your head if you're annoyed. 
Well, if you ain't a good move, okay. Cabin's closed. Alea asks, happy anniversary, love you guys' relationship. How did how do you guys deal with disagreements and things of that nature? I think I said that. Like we um we both apologize. It's just like a thing. Sheree Miner said, I love that he chooses to be somewhat mysterious and let it be your thing. Yes, I mean he's not I mean he don't even really try to be mysterious, Sheree Miner. Sheree, but he just don't. I mean he just I, he just be like, oh girl, that's you. <laughs> What are some of the things that make you laugh the most that the other one does or says? Now, I'll say this right now. My husband is hilarious. Hilarious. He does like, he has more like a dry humor and he can tell a joke. He can construct a joke. I'd be feeling, I mean, he is funny. He just will say things out of the blue that you have, you don't expect somebody to say. What do you love about each other the most? I love how accountable he is to himself and the people around him. I love how driven he is. I love how smart he is. I love how funny he is. And I love how level, I mean, the most amazing things, how level-headed, calm, and how easy it is for him to assess the situation and make a decision. Like he is great at that. Like he's great at just assessing make it a decision he's really really level-headed i don't know how it happens in his brain but when it comes out it comes out like when he makes a decision it's calm like he's just so calm mm, love it we're cute i'm curious okay so i thought this was gonna be more questions about me so <laughs> i'm curious about how you went about securing wig collab collaborations with various wig companies i can see that a lot of time my hard work and editing goes into youtube videos thank you without giving away any industry secrets what's the process like when you're being sponsored by a company versus just putting out your own youtube content i think kiana h asked that question i think um, I'm going to make a separate video about that because I've been thinking about it, but I have, I don't know what questions people will ask on the outside. If you don't mind, I want to add it because this seemed to be all about relationships, but I'm going to answer that question in a separate video about content, stuff like that. Cause I've been doing this for seven years. I'm not really huge, but I'm good at it. And I'm going to say that myself. I'm great at what I do. Do a separate one. I'm going to take a screenshot of this question because yes, my question is when was it confirmed for the both of you that you all wanted to get married and when you knew that you found the one again congratulations that's from loki j thank you loki j and um for the question and i knew what moment was that i felt like there were a few confirming moments but when i first met him i was attracted to him but being attracted to somebody is like mm -mm, okay girl you're attracted but like when i saw how and i've said this before how he treated women that he wasn't that he wasn't interested in he treated them well that was important to me because he used to watch walk one of my co-workers to her car and she was pregnant and this was downtown he wanted to make sure she was she felt like she was safe getting to her car because she was pregnant and he did that because he just wanted to he was always um you know he always cracked jokes and stuff like that and it's really, really funny around people, but he's genuinely a very, 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 very kind, considerate person. And I love that about him. My battery is about to die. I was in class, he was a professor. She was the one that was trying to convince me to go to Australia. And I was like, I was telling her like, no, I, you know, I met this, you know, girl that I really like. And I feel like, you know, it's gonna go like forever. So she was telling me, like, why don't you go abroad and go out there for a year? Well, you have to lose, you know? I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. And I remember he was like, stop hating me, stop talking about her. But she was a really sweet girl, a sweet professor. She was like one of my favorite professors. Yeah, I digressed though. We were in class, I was in class, and we were texting back and forth, and then you were like, well, I said, all I know is that I just want to be with you. That's it. Oh. Remember that? No. Oh, was I at work? I was at work. You must have been at work. I was at work. So that was when I knew. <clears throat> but then we, we, I remember we had like a conversation, another conversation. We were on the phone, and I was in my mom's, or I, when I lived with my mom. Sleep with me, like, will you tell me if you sleep with anybody? And I was like, well, will you tell me if you sleep with anybody? Like, well, I'm not going to 
I don't plan on sleeping with anybody. I was like, well, I don't plan on sleeping with, with anybody else either. And then that was that was it. That was when we were exclusive at that time. What are your marital goals within the next one or two years? Do you both want children? That's from Shantina. My marital, our marital goals are. Um. Where is my mascara, baby? So for our marital goals, I don't know if we have like marital goals, but we would love to travel a lot within the next two years. A lot of traveling. Um, possibly find a home. To me, it's not in the plan to have kids in the next one to two years. I feel like it'd be great because girl, we get into geriatric age, <laughs> cause I'm 35. Um, but definitely being more financially secure and finding a home and traveling that's the goals solidifying our careers all that type of stuff so that's what we want to do do you two work out together how did you get so fit continuing counting calories or macros so we don't work out together we used to go to go to the gym at the same time but we never worked out together like we would never do sets together we would go to the gym and then go our separate ways um, now we go to the gym at separate times. So no, we don't work out together. He had a workout. We both were on a fitness journey when we met each other. So he had just started working out, I think maybe a year before. And I had just started working out like months before. Cause I was on my get thick journey because somebody had broke up with me. So I was trying to get fine. We're on a fitness journey and it was just like perfect timing. We were in the similar places in our lives. So, um, I don't count macros. I don't, you know, I be thinking I'm fit. Sometimes I be bloated in the stomach, like it be too much. Technically I don't count calories now. I kind of look at them, which I don't think is helpful to me. Um, what I do now is just eat what my body likes and what my body likes to digest to reduce bloating. Plus I try and make sure I have a balanced sort of diet where I have more vegetables and stuff like that. But I don't follow like, I am gluten free dairy free and I have chicken and fish. I don't eat red meat, never did, never had red meat, don't know her, never had pork because my father was Muslim so, and my mother was vegetarian. So we already had those dietary things going on in our household. My parents didn't really cook meat like that. So except for it was like seafood. So yeah, and for him, he is, he actually eats a whole, 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 whole lot and works out not a whole lot, like two to three times a week. So. We both work out, well I work out like once a week now cause girl my time. But he works out and plays basketball, all that types of stuff. So he does have a pretty good workout routine that he's had for years. I've had my workout routine for the past 10 years and his has been for the 11, year, 11 years. We've been consistently working out and we try to encourage each other to do that for our own health as well. So Tawana Stringer said, who cracks the most jokes? I think it's hubby. Yes, it's him. He cracks the most jokes, but I'm funny too. He cracks the most jokes, like he really can. And he is the slick type of funny. Say, point out something funny when you least expect it. Tawana, girl, you already, you know, you met him somehow or you know him because that's exactly what he does. He points out like random stuff and will say something funny. It's hilarious. So yes, you're right. Your husband recently finished school. Oh, holla at the kid. That's my girl, Nudio. Been here forever. That's my girl. She's been here for years. Hey girl, how are you? Ho hopefully everything's doing well. We'll chat. Um, your husband recently finished school. Congrats and much success. Yes, he did. What field of study was his degree? He got a bachelor's in computer science. Yes, that's all of the questions. Let me go ahead and pop on some eyebrows real quick. I already drew on my eyebrows because y'all know I don't be coming on camera without an eyebrow. I feel like I'm just going to darken up these eyebrows just a tad bit. I'm trying not to do black eyebrows anymore because it be looking funny. Oh, so I use the micro, what was this? The micro brow pencil by NYX in the color Espresso because I'm trying not to do black brows anymore because I be looking a fool and I'm using the NYX brow gel in the color black even though it's kind of brown it's not black yes it adds more texture to my eyebrows and now let's do the lips as well the lips I'm gonna do 
the Nika K lip. What color is this? Maroon on the outside and inside it's gonna be peach stock and I'm going to line my lips. Y'all already know what I line my lips with if I can find the lip liner, where is she? Ah, my Iman lip liner in the color Espresso. Not me drooling. And for the inner lips, for like a little gloss, I'm going to use the Lip Bar Lip Gloss and Ring Leader just to get the gloss gone. And on the outer lip, I'm going to use Headliner Lip Gloss. Ooh, that kind of look a mess. Okay. So cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Hold on. I need to blot my lips or something. I'm so sorry because I really did think y'all were going to ask me questions just about me. And I found that a few of the questions were about us, me and my husband. I feel like that was a fault on my part. Hopefully I was entertaining to you. I'm not sure if my husband, I'm going to see if I can get him to pop it. I'm gonna see if I can get him to pop in and answer a couple questions and we'll see what he says. Okay, y'all, this is the finished face. Look how pretty it is. It looks so refreshed. This is perfect for like lunch, dinner, summertime, skin, giving, and the wig, everything. Let me get y'all real close. Now, I only do like one color on my eyelids. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I just don't have the patience for it. So this is what the eyes are giving. But look at the cheeks. Look at the glow, no highlighter, just happiness and vibes with the glow. So I have on my top from TJ Maxx, my jewelry from Amazon. Obviously this neck necklace is from my husband for our first Valentine's Day. And um, I have on my watch from the girls, the Nine West watch. It's upside down, it was like $25 from Amazon. So. Fresh makeup with curly hair is like a date night look for me. But you can check out my vlog if you do want to see what we do today. Me and my husband are gonna hang out, um, grab some lunch. But I wanna say thank you again to Janota Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring a portion of this video because the wig is popping to Look at the curls. Get into it. Yeah. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. I wanna do another Q and A. Y'all tell me what other stuff you wanna know. I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.